So the question is, know your game, know your strategy, know what sort of opportunities you're actually looking for. The second thing I think to ask yourself is what's your approach to risk? What sort of risks are you prepared to take? Do you want to undertake planning risks? Um, there are a lot of people who will spend their time actually taking planning risks, putting a scheme together and then selling it on to somebody else who actually doesn't want to take that planning risk and actually just wants a, a buildable scheme. Uh, so they're selling on develop, developed land. The planning risk, it will be addressed, I think, in, in the, one of the, the next uh, sessions. Um, but obviously it takes a long time. It's quite uncertain. It can cost an awful lot of capital um, to actually take a project all the way through the planning process. It could be that construction risk is your game. Uh, that obviously that if you're actually buying that site with planning consent, the, uh, the construction risk is something that you're willing to take on board. But, you know, whatever you do, you're, you're probably facing legal risks when you're doing site assembly. Neighbours sort of trying to block up fire escapes, party wall agreements, all sorts of things of that nature. So you need to address those sort of risks. And also perhaps the finance risks. What, what is your finance, really? I'll touch on that in a minute. But most of all, what you're exposed to in development and site assembly is market risk. The fact that when you start a project, the market will not be the same as the market at the end of the, uh, the project. And it can either go your way or it can go against you. Uh, and that's part of the, the fun of development. Um, I'd just like to start with uh, this uh, picture, which is in Mile End Road. It's known as uh, Department W. Um, it was Wickham's department store. It's a salutary tale from the 1920s of a gentleman who tried to put together a store, an apartment store in Mile End to be the, the jewel of the East, to rival Selfridges. Um, and uh, as he was nearing the end of his sort of site completion, 